I think what you are undertaking is incredibly important. It's an incredibly good model. I wish that I could come across as intelligent enough and as profound enough that I would deliver to you the list of things you're not doing correctly. The fact of the matter is, and now you're like, well, we blew you up here. You're supposed to tell us something. I have been so very impressed with what you are doing. And try as I might, I have not found anything you're doing wrong, at least in, that I can see. And frankly, what you are doing is you're marching forward into the future of what will be an incredible equestrian destination very shortly. What you are doing is, is a model for others. And instead of me coming from someplace else and delivering something new for you, frankly, what you have done is enlightened me on several things that I'm going to take home. So, uh, I'm way ahead on this thing, and I owe you guys a lot. <laughs> I, you will collect the debt. You will collect the debt sometime. You, as, as Beth Hughes said today in our presentation, you are taking the right approach. Now, what I think will happen tonight, I'm going to, in a few minutes, quickly, because the third horse thing, but I wanna, I'm going to share the story of the horse park, some big things that we did in the last 10 years, including the World Equestrian Games. And what I hope and believe will happen is it will serve as a validation for what you are doing. To say, oh yeah, that's, that, you know, the, re the reflection of that is what we are doing here in fill in the blank. I think there will be some common themes. Um, I not only feel at home here because of the warm and wonderful people and friends that I've, I've met, but there is some, there's some commonality between our regions. Um, and and I'll, I'll, I'll explore that a little bit. But there's also some common themes with what you're undertaking and the story of the horse park and the World Equestrian Games and some stuff we did with China and Great Britain and some other things that, that are kind of fun stories that I think you'll feel, you'll feel that, oh, okay, I can understand what they were going through. Some of these common themes involve things like seizing opportunities. When they come your way, clearly the Pan American Games. You didn't run from it, weren't afraid of it. You didn't say, uh, we can't do that. Um, all the problems, no. You seized and are seizing right now as we speak that opportunity. Uh, I think we'll see a common thread in something that I call the power of momentum that things build one upon the other. Um, there was John McDonald, I don't know if you remember today, he said something, he asked the question, do we want to build a whole lot in a mediocre sense or a little bit in a great sense? And everybody had the right answer. The right answer is, if you do it correctly, good things will happen. Well, that's, in my view, the power of momentum. And you've got to seize that momentum as well. The other thing, um, another thing, is this whole concept that we are experiencing, we experience it so very clearly today, and that's regionalism and cooperation. Michelle, what you call collaboration, and you have a different phrase for it, but it's the same. It's the same. It's the same thing. It is a great big hug when we all work together. It's also one and one equals three. Uh, and I will say, I, I noted today that it was a. a you know, sing along at the campfire today. Okay? Now, I have been through the exact same process a thousand miles south of here. And let's be honest. Not every day is as sweet and nice as today is. I, I get that. If it is, congratulations. But what is consistent is the commitment. The commitment that we are going to keep everybody in the boat in the tent, and if it's not right for one, it's not right for all, and that we're going to continue to communicate. And this is not only, the, it's not only geographic cooperation, and believe me, I'm so thoroughly confused about where <laughs> the townships are versus, the, you know, I, I, I know I'm somewhere north of Toronto, and one of the places called the Hills of, 
of the headwaters and I love it, but I'm really not sure right now what place I'm in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mayor, if I'm here where you're the mayor or not. But, <laughs> but wherever it is, it's wonderful and you all seem to get along very well. But it's not only like the geographic cooperation, but it's the cooperation between different kinds of communities. And this is something you clearly have seized upon as well. That certainly I'm going to talk about horses being the anchor of the future, and I think I hope you agree with that. I think it is. But the, we'll talk about this more. Horses don't mean that that's it. That the arts is very complementary of horses, and this great this region's great reputation for culinary arts. All this is part of the same lifestyle question. And we'll, there'll be examples in the story of the horse park that I think will confirm that as we move on. The, the fourth thing that I think is a common theme of, of everything that we're talking about is the concept of perseverance and patience. Uh, what we did for the World Equestrian Games was multi-year. I had jet black hair when we started the World Equestrian Games. That's very true. I thought about persons... Per perseverance and patience today when there was discussion of the legal complexities that you were facing in terms of acreage and what you could do on properties and you know the form of federalism here that we have in the United States as well that, that localities make the rules and when and there's not often there's not often consistency in that. All you need to do is come to Kentucky and decide that you want to have to want to purchase beer. Well, on one side of the street, you can do it legally. On the other side of the street, a different county, you may not. Some places are wet, some places are dry, and some places are moist. So, so and it's all about a city council of a small area. So I understand. I understand how these things are not simple. And they're not going to be solved by having one big campaign in one place taking one vote, and there's how problems are gotten up. That's going to be... That's going to be an area of perseverance and patience. And finally, and this is kind of all-encompassing, is a concept that I was so proud of all of you and so impressed that you clearly got from the very beginning, and that's the concept of legacy. That it, it appears to me from the beginning of when, for example, the Pan American Games were coming here, it's my impression that the very first thing you thought about was how do we leverage this for the future? And, and I will tell you, again, as I alluded to, a less good people would have not thought that way. That the first thought would have been, do we have enough hotel rooms? I don't know, and the traffic's going to be horrible, and, you know, do it really have to be here? That's not you. This from the maybe a minority said that. It certainly was in Lexington when we won the World Equestrian Games. We... I was very proud of our city, but that didn't mean there weren't a, a small but vocal minority who, in my view, are professional, addicted naysayers <laughs> who were put on this earth in their view to tear every good thing down and hope that <laughs> failure reigns so they can say, I told you so. so. But that's not you and the majority, and that's not the way you approach things. You thought of the future, again, a lesser people would mind. So I want to talk a, a few in a few minutes about some more similarities and similarities of concepts that are that